And the Ministry of Health was today put on the spot over the controversial 63 billion shilling spent on the Least Medical Kits program. Uh, the former Attorney General Gibe Boigai blamed the ministry for failing to adhere to the legal advice he gave prior to the signing of the Managed Equipment Service, popularly known as MES program. Well, to date, continues are rather counties are being forced to pay up to 200 million shillings for equipment that still lay idle in some public hospitals. These contracts are very complicated. They are Appearing before the Senate Ad Hoc Committee investigating the deal, Professor Gidu Muigai said that the ministry ignored his advice to submit to his office the final contracts for review before signing. The former AG told the panel led by Siolo Senator Fatuma Dulo that he only gave the ministry the green light to sign pre-contracts with the contractors on February 6, 2015 at State House Nairobi. Gidu further says that the ministry was expected to enter into further negotiations and send the documents to the AG's office for review before signing the final and binding contracts. What was sought from me and the consent I gave was based on a very specific set of facts. Which set of facts are in the letter of 27th February 2015? Direct agreement. But Bungoma Senator Moses Wetangula and his Kitui counterpart Eno Kwambua demanded to know what exactly the office of the AG wanted to verify, yet there was an express letter from him allowing the ministry to sign the contracts. So somebody can show this to your face and say, you cleared the mess contracts. What would be your defense? The speed at which the process was being carried out the taxpayer has ended up being very gravely shortchanged and failing to get value for money. When you are the Attorney General, you act on the good faith and representations of your clients, the ministries. If the ministry says we have done or are doing or we have taken your advice, uh, that is it. You have to take that their word. The former attorney general explained that he only authorized the signing of the pre-contracts as ceremonial session held at State House to show the party's willingness and intention to enter into a binding contract. Several players, including the Council of Governors, have termed the project a rip-off, with several reports indicating that the taxpayers got a raw deal. Well, uh, thank you very much. Professor Gidu appeared before the committee, even as reports indicate that the least medical equipment supplied to counties under the national government scheme continue lying idle or are dysfunctional in several public hospitals. In some cases, the equipment is yet to be commissioned or installed, despite each of the 47 counties paying a whopping 200 million shillings each every year. Nimrotabu for Citizen TV.